हेलो 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 आई एम ऑडिबल यस सर ओके ग्रेट गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर अप टिल नाउ आई गेस टेन पीपल हैव जॉइन एक्सक्लूडिंग हेलो हेलो माय रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू इज टू अन म्यूट योर माइक्रोफोन सो दैट यू कुड बी एबल टू लिसन माय वॉइस ओके हेलो एवरीवन प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक्रोफोन so that you could be able to listen properly okay hello so i guess we will start this session today i will mute all from my okay. so it is fine now you can uh, respond through the chat there is a chat window you can also chat with me because i have muted your microphones is it okay shreyas okay great so voice is clear okay great chalo so let us start so here uh, for in same examination you have studied up to three units am i right so let us start today at the fifth unit directly because fourth unit is somewhat related to uh, mobile communication subject so we will take fourth unit in the last we will start by fifth unit then sixth unit and then fourth unit okay so before that let us take a tour to the Google Classroom, okay. okay. So, is Google Classroom is visible? okay now so you will see uh, most of the uh, topics okay the figure for reference video lectures university question papers teaching methodology books assignments question paper analysis the subject diary syllabus question bank unit wise presentation and lab manuals okay 
so you can also uh, chat with me if the voice is not clear or the uh, sharing material is not clear okay now first of all i would like to highlight the unit wise presentation first because uh, for your in-sync preparation i have uploaded unit 1 unit 2 and unit 3 and in coming days i will be uploading uh, remaining three units presentation on the classroom you need to go through that also you need to focus on the video lectures okay so here i have shared uh, two channels basically and for the second channel i have given the mapping also this mapping given the mapping also so which uh, means the video lecture playlist number uh, with reference to the unit number so it will be easy for you to distinguish between the respective unit and the respective lecture Let us start uh, with the fifth unit. Let us start uh, with the fifth unit. So in this, so in this, uh, we will be looking. Uh, at we will be looking at fundamentals of audio video recording. Fundamentals of audio video recording. So you must be, you must know. What are the key contents of this? So you must you must know what are the key contents of this. So this we will be focusing on. So this we will be focusing on. Methods of sound recording and reproduction. Uh, optical recording, CD recording, methods audio of standards, sound recording and reproduction. Optical recording, sound recording, recording, audio standards, sound recording, player, MP3 player, and Blu-ray DVD, DVD player. So first of all, we need to emphasize. First of all, we need to emphasize that the optical recording of the sound is done. Recording of the sound is done. So if you search on Wikipedia, so what is search on Wikipedia, recording of sound? Yeah. What is recording of sound? So first of all, we will see. Uh, first of all, we will see. Uh, okay. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Here you can see the strip of the film. Basically, at the end, Basically, you will see the end, end. You will see text end. Along with some music. Along with some music. What is the implication of this film provided? Basically, I have taken this image from Wikipedia. So, in that you can see there are sequence of images. Previously, what? Previously. We have seen that the video is nothing but it is a sequence of images played at a particular rate. Okay. So the standard that we are adopting is 25 frames per second. Now that it should feel like a video. Along with that, the sound has been provided. Okay. So basically, there are two. Okay. So one is with single channel, another one is double channel, means dual channel, that is called stereo channel. Okay. So in this film, okay. So the picture is black black and white. So you can see I'll zoom it a little bit. The picture is black and white. And the at the right hand side you can see the sound of that particular frame. Sound allocated for that particular frame. Okay, 
means if you are watching that particular frame then that particular sound is played now coming to this particular picture okay so here you can see the picture of some film the movie and here you can find there are two channels that is two channels means there are two sounds present for left and right am i okay so in that you can see this thing is optical sound because whenever you want to uh, visualize this or when you want to project this okay so you use optical source to project that sound along with that you need to extend the sound as well and that sound has been given to the microphone sorry to the speakers so that you could be able to listen the sound okay so this is how the optical recording of the sound is done so basically we will see what are the methodologies okay what are the uh, how one can record the sound optically that we will see hope i am still audible am i right Okay, great. So let us start with this. So I will do a white board so that will be much easier for us to do and me as well. <laughs> so the optical recording of sound means what of the optical recording of sound is done using light or laser beam so here you need to focus on this okay live with the help of light or laser Anybody can tell me what do you mean by laser? Man? Can you just post your answer in chat? L A S E R. Ah. What do you mean by this? Yes, all of you know. And what source? we are using in laser yes okay great so here optical recording is done using light or laser beam so that the signal can be reproduced whenever needed okay so previously photographic films were used as there is a progression in electronic devices optical discs okay we are using for the medium of recording for the sound okay so previously the film and then we have switch to what optical Discs. Okay. Then the optical basis of this one, the optical recording, you can parallelly take the notes. Okay. On your uh, notebook, optical recording is done or is classified in two major aspects. Okay, one is photographic 
square in the root of this. And another one is optical root of this. Basically, on the disks, basically. So there are two main categories here we are having. Okay. So again, I'll switch to this one. So basically, photographic film recording. Okay. So nowadays, uh, when you go in the cinema hall. So previously, in older days, we were having the photographic film recording. So the film is provided, and the projector projectors are designed with reference to project the information present on the film. But nowadays, we are having the digital projectors, where you can take the movie, or you can demand the movie from the satellite directly. The times time slots have been scheduled, and you can directly. Project movie with that particular time, so you need not to worry about the synchronization of video sound and so on. But previously, there there were some of the problems. Some you can able to watch the video without sound, or you can able to listen to the audio without picture. Okay, so such kind of things were happening, and it is uh, very uh, bad for the presenter to synchronize between. Video and audio. Okay. So basically, photographic film recording is basically used in the movies. Okay, where audio is converted into a varying light intensity that falls on photographic film. So, audio signals. Let me write down this one. Audio signals. Signals. Are converted are converted to what very light in falls on photo So the recording is done in the form of soundtrack of 2.5 millimeter wide. Okay, so there is a provision only for sound in the track. Okay, because you might be knowing about the figures like 35 mm or maybe 70. So what do you mean by this one? Can anybody tell me the chat? Have you heard of this, these two figures? Just post, post yes or no. Hello? Am I audible to everyone? Yes, correct, correct. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay. So these are the film sizes. Okay, basically 70 mm, 35 mm, and within that the provision is 2.5 millimeter for the sound on the track. So there is again uh, some kind of specifications. If you are using either mono or stereo, okay. Here we are having two channels, and here we are having single channel. Okay, so you you need to think of this also. Now coming to this 
second one the second sorry, the second one is get optical recording okay. so what kind of source that we supposed to use in optical recording because everybody is familiar with this technology everybody is using this one so what kind of source we are using in this one because see in the previous one which which is having photographic film recording we are using source as a light okay so in optical recording can you just tell me what kind of source you are using Hello, what kind of source you are using? Optical film. Basically, photographic film is a concept. And when we are coming to the optical recording, then we are concerned with the discs. Okay. So, this point has to be cleared. Okay. So, how you how you are reading the data from the optical disks or how you are going to write the data on the optical disks that is the question yes okay but what source you are using to write the data on the disks exactly so it is done by laser beam so now can you tell me what is the full form of laser it is light i'll start light amplification light amplification as you can google that also okay so that is not our topic on interest okay so the optical recording is done by the laser beam that turns on and off depending upon the digitization of audio signal now here is another categorization in photographic films we are using light okay and this sort of recording is kind of analog and when you are going to optical okay you are using laser okay and this laser is turning on and off with the reference to what okay the digital form of audio signal means what okay so we need to emphasize over here the digital form is a, a represented as one or zero okay now the thing is that there are two levels this is zero this is one okay so wh whenever you are doing digitization of any audio signal okay you are converting that particular thing in one zero format okay so here you are having the pulses okay like this and so on okay so this is zero one zero one zero one one zero one okay so this is a typical code and based upon that you are turning the laser on and off on and off and so on and hence you are recording that particular digital audio into the optical disks okay so 
we will see that in more detail later okay so laser film sorry laser beam falls on a photoresist material which cause the pits of varying width at fixed depth okay so on optical disc okay here we are having pits okay so these pits are having sorry okay so these bits are of what i have said varying width varying width and but the fixed okay fixed depth so what do you mean by the statement anybody will tell me first of all just tell me the pits are present where because here we are talking about optical recording so can you just tell me where the pits are present anybody can type the answers in the chat what do you mean by pit Am I visible now? Hello? Okay, great. Okay, basically, see, uh, the sound clarity and video clarity is totally depending on how much network coverage you are getting for your cell phone okay so don't worry about that this is our first lecture okay so we will be covering the basic basic points in the initial phase of the fifth unit okay so don't worry about that okay just find a better place at your home where you can get the fastest network okay or you can sit anywhere right because no one guarantee about this one because say if my bandwidth is okay and your bandwidth is not then you could not be able to listen or uh, get the clear picture what i'm sharing okay so don't worry about that right and basically i'm recording this lecture so don't worry about the attendance also right now coming to the point in optical recording what i have said is okay the laser beam falls on a photoresist material photoresist material present on uh, what kind of uh, substance that is disc okay which causes the pits of varying width but fixed depth okay so if you take any optical disc Give me two seconds. So, 
here I am having the disk. Okay. So what exactly you are doing is the laser is writing the data on the disk. Am I right? Okay. So on that disk you are having the pits. Okay. Pit means what? Hidda. Okay. So that laser is actually writing the data in the pits. Okay. So these pits are varying length. Okay. But the depth is fixed. Okay. So let us see what do we mean by this one. If you consider this, okay, right? So if you take a cross section of this one, so you are having such things present on this one. Basically, I am taking the part, this part. Okay. So what I have said is, there are two extremities, right? This much and this much. So here, this depth is fixed. Okay. This depth is fixed, and this length or width is varying. Okay. Why? Because so if I consider this as zero one zero one zero one one zero one one zero one one zero 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 one. Okay. So this represents the Digital code of the audio signal. Okay, so basically these are called as flats. Sorry, these are called as flats. The upper portion and the lower portion is called as a pit. Okay. So let us go with the next concept. So next point is methods of recording on photographic film. Okay, since this method uses photographic film as a medium for recording, so. We are using this as a medium for recording. Okay. In accordance with varying intensity of light with sound. Okay. So this thing is important. In accordance with varying intensity of This is important. So, in this, it is classified as number one variable sorry, variable density method and the second one is variable area. Okay, so let me ask you one thing. Uh, do you have any book of audio video engineering right now with you? No, sir. Yes. Hello. Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. So. Don't worry about that. I will be providing all of the notes in respect to the fourth, fifth, and sixth unit. Okay. So let us first understand what do we mean by this variable density, variable area method. Because see, we will 
finish this up and the last point okay so in this lecture we will be finishing these two aspects okay then we will stop because i don't know i am not able to collect whether you could be able to listen properly or visualize properly or not okay so the first method i will take please mute your microphone so that others can listen properly variable density okay so quickly i'll draw the diagram You can also draw this diagram with me. It is my this is my Please mute your microphone so others can listen properly. Okay, so basically, here we are talking about the den variable density method. Okay, so our main intention is to write the sound information. Okay, again, I am telling you we are writing the sound information on the photographic film. Okay, so here. The film is present, and this much portion has been allocated, allocated for sound. Okay. Now here the thing is that signal is given to the lamp. Basically, this is the lamp. Okay. And with respect to the change in the intensity, because already we have talked about in this one in accordance with varying intensity of the loud with sound. Okay. So. Here we are giving the signal, sound signal, and the intensity of this particular lamp is varying with respect to the audio signals, okay, which we are feeding to the lamp. Okay, so now the intensity of the lamp will vary in accordance with the sound signal, and that varying intensity is passed okay, to the slit. Okay, through the slit. Okay, and it has been concentrated through the lens on the film so that we can record the sound on the film with reference to varying intensity in the form of density. Okay, so basically, the sound is given to the microphone, the electrical signal, then amplifier, and then given to the anode. So this lamp is having the helium gas, right? So anode gets a high DC voltage. Okay, this HD is high tension, high DC voltage in series with the audio because this audio signal is 
connected in series with the this one high voltage okay when filament lamp is connected to know this okay the intensity of light coming out of lamp varies in accordance with the audio signals right the intensity of the light coming from the lamp okay varies in accordance with the audio signal this light this varying light pass through the slit okay this slit and focused on photographic film okay here it has been focused on the photographic film with focusing lens the sound is recorded on the film in the form of bars okay here you can visualize this one the sound is recorded in the form of bars of varying density okay so each segment is having different in density are you getting what i'm saying okay so each bar is having different density so that is why it is called as variable density method okay i guess you have understood the simple analogy is there we are having analog sound that analog sound has been given to the high voltage where the lamp is connected okay now in accordance with the audio signal the lamp changes its its intensity that intensity is passed through the slit focused on the film where you are you will be having the variable density of that particular sound which is coming by means of the varying light okay so this is a, so the concept is very very easy okay now coming to the second one is it is variable area method okay so again we are having a simple diagram okay so you can draw with me just i will take 2 minutes to draw this diagram now the concept is very very simple here lamp here magnet coil and audio signal here to the coil and then here we are going to this here variable bar area this is the film okay so now in this film this much portion has been allocated for sound recording okay this much will okay now the thing is the area of slit this one made variable with the help of a mirror galvanometer so this particular assembly is called as mirror galvanometer okay so the current carrying coil is placed okay this one is placed in the magnetic field this one which deflects according to the amount of audio current flowing through it okay so this is a very basic principle everyone knows that and what changes we have done is the current carrying coil is placed in the magnetic field which deflects so now this is deflecting am i right so this is deflecting with reference to what with reference to the audio signal 
or audio current that has been passed through it to the coil. Okay, so basically this assembly is deflecting. Okay, so mirror is attached to the moving coil assembly. So this is the mirror, right? So mirror is attached to the moving coil assembly. Mirror also deflects according to the change in the audio current because this complete assembly is moving with reference to the audio current. So the light from a fixed lamp. So now here in previous method we were changing the intensity of the light. Am I right? But here the intensity lamp intensity of the lamp is constant. Only thing is that the mirror is getting deflected with reference to the audio current. Right? Okay. So the reflected uh, reflected light from mirror passes through the slit and falls on the photographic film. Right? So mirror moves according to the changes in the audio current and hence variable amount of light is passed through the slit. Okay, so this mirror is deflecting though we are having the constant intensity lamp, but here we are having the variation of the variation in the amount of light passing through the slit and that light is falling on the variable area of the sound track which is present at the edge of the film okay so this is writing some variable data okay why this is variable because this mirror is moving why this mirror is moving because we have passed the audio current through this assembly okay and why this assembly is moving because it is placed in the magnetic field okay so and thus the area is bright to the light variation where the light is falling the area is bright okay so now again you can use okay the, some kind of source to extract this information and convert it, that information again into sound okay so this is how we are recording the sound with respect to that variable density method where the intensity of the lamp is changing and the second one is with respect to the variable area method where the lamp intensity is constant but with reference to audio current the mirror is deflecting and that is right variable information on the soundtrack present on the film okay so this is the basic intention here okay so i guess this is quite enough am i right okay so i'm turning your microphones on okay you can speak <laughs> <laughs> yes. Any question? What? Any suggestion? Still, we are having five minutes. Attendance. <laughs> the complete session has been recorded along with the noise also. So, I could be able to recognize who is producing the noise also. Okay, so don't worry about that. Ole, ole. Kauri. Kunturni. And you get that. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, then we will stop here. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, wait tomorrow. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, con convey your thoughts on WhatsApp group. So, in the next session, we can improve that one. Right? Okay, sir. I guess uh, this is your first uh, online lecture. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Great. Yes, sir. So, I'm very fortunate. <laughs> Hello. Thank you, sir. Bye. Take care. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Study all the material. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Bon key. You.